Some fascinating perspective tonight from our friends at the Wall Street Journal about the cost of the president's health care plan rollout. Apple spent about $150 million developing the revolutionary iPhone. The Obamacare exchanges so far have cost between $360 million and $600 million. And as correspondent Peter Ducey reports, business is not booming. Traffic at healthcare.gov has fallen off a cliff. Week one was big when 9.4 million curious consumers visited the site, but after that, an 88% decline. In fact, just 36,000 consumers actually signed up for new coverage during the federal exchange's first week online, far, far away from the administration's October prediction of half a million enrollments by Halloween. Experts say only the government could weather such a slow start. Just imagine a business who just put so much hype into a new product, again, saying to consumers that this is going to change their entire lives, this is going to fix many of the problems that they have, hyped it up so much and there's a complete letdown. I think they'd have a, a real problem surviving in the marketplace. The White House said today people just need to be patient since we've only reached day 17 of a 182-day open enrollment. People have been working 24-7 uh, uh, around the clock to uh, resolve them and make the consumer experience better. But the administration may be running out of time to get healthcare.gov in order, especially since 2.7 million of the 7 million enrollees they're hoping for this year need to be young, 18 to 35, and many young people just aren't used to slow technology. Well, anyone knows when you've had to wait online for 15, 20 minutes for your cell phone company or your cable company that sometimes you just hang up. If people have a bad experience and they tune out, it's hard to get them to come back. So uh, uh, this that speaks to how fast they have to fix this and get people to re-engage. But one big question remains. Why didn't the federal government just build a website that works? The nonpartisan Sunlight Foundation says for this project, planners called old friends. When they awarded contracts for this, they turned to a whole bunch of companies that have more experience making things like the Abrams tank and nuclear submarines and, you know, the old line kind of defense contractors that really only deal with one customer, and that's the federal government. We also learned today in a Reuters report that the federal government's contract with CGI Federal to build healthcare.gov is worth $292 million. That's triple the original $93.7 million contract. House Minority Leader Nancy Pelosi said today Obamacare should not be delayed even if problems with the site continue in December near the deadline to get covered for next year.